Hui, I understand that today you were the hero of the day. Tell us what happened. When you saw the car, okay, how did it come about? Did you knew about the Amber Alert? Uh, not really. Uh, I was driving, uh, picking up my son from school when uh, he told me about the Amber Alert. And uh, I was driving, and uh, when I heard it was a Kia Sorento, I told my son, because I have a Kia Sorento too, I said, I have my son. I don't have nobody else's son. I mean, I'm all right. All of a sudden, I saw a car pass by. You know, I speed, not I speed in the 60s, 70s, the rainy day, 75 the most. And something told me, just go check the plate because it was a black car, Kia Sorento, and I did. I raced it up, I speeded it up, and I went after the car, and I looked at the plate. And the plate, it was the same as in the Amber Alert. That's how I had to follow him until we got the conclusion to the stop. He had to stop. And uh, did you call the police at any time when you start going after the car? Yes, that's one of the first things. As soon as I find out exactly the plate number, it was exactly plate number, the first thing I did is call my, told my son to call 911 because I was driving. I could not drive and call at the same time. Did you keep chasing the car? And for how far? Uh, I was saying uh, maybe three miles from, uh, from Yonkers uh, until the... By the by the Bronx before the before the entrance of the George Washington Bridge to go to the George Washington Bridge. And at what at what point in Yonkers? Where in Yonkers did you notice the car? Uh, it was uh, as soon as I got in from Central Park Avenue to the Major Deacon 87. And when did they, I'm I'm sure that the driver noticed that you were after him. Did he try to run away or you did not notice? Uh, I believe he did, he did not notice. I was behind him. Because I was driving fast after him, too, because I don't want to lose him out of my sight. And, you know, it was until it was a point where he had to slow down because he could not go anymore. Because and when you approached the car to make sure that the license plate was the correct one, did you see the two-year-old girl in the car? No, I just, after that, I speeded up. I got next to him, and I, I saw he was a Chinese, Korean, you know. Asian uh, race, and it means after that I just went behind them and I followed them all the way, all the way until the end. And tell us about the, the end. How did the end came about? The end, it was, I was uh, following him and I was in the phone, my son, he was in the phone at the same time with him and me, I was in the phone, and uh, it was a police officer caught in the middle of the 87. And the same way I was talking in the phone, I was letting the dispatcher know, here's a car ahead of me, a police officer, I could see his lights up front, let him know the car is in the right side. I'm trying to block the car, make sure he's not going anywhere, and I keep giving eye beams to the police officer. And the police officer, until he got the point, I got next to him, I say, the car, the amber alert, is right in the right side. Let's block him, man. That's what we did. We blocked him, and he could not go anywhere. Now, you were there with your son, how old is your son? 17. Were you nervous? I mean, uh, nervous, not nervous, because I'm with God, but uh, it means I'm just, thank you, Lord, I was the right guy in the right, right moment, uh, in the right spot. And when the car came to a stop, when the police finally pulled the car over, what happened at that time? I had to stay maintaining the car because they wanted to make sure there was no weapons or nothing in the car. I maintained until they told me I could come out of the car and they started asking me for information exactly what happened. Now, what, what about the father? They took the father out of the car. Yeah, they took the father out of the te car. Te tell, us, tell us about it. Tell, tell us what happened once they stopped. They stopped. They went, the officers, they went. They, they identified, make sure the baby was there. The baby was there. And they pull him out of the car and they bring him inside to 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 the police police car the, with the handcuffs. Was the baby crying? Was the baby afraid? Did you see anything? No, I didn't see the baby. I didn't see the baby because I parked ahead. I was parking ahead of the police officer's car. That's why I could not, he told me to stay in the car because they weren't going to check the situation. And that's why I made my son. We had to do just maintain the situation nice and calm. That's what happened. 
So today, Rui, you are the Yonkers hero. You did a great service. You saved a little girl. And the father, I believe, now is in police custody. And uh, now justice will handle it, correct? Uh, yes, I hope so. I did my part. I know the justice. They did a beautiful job over there, too. And they congratulate me because, you know, I was the hero. I wasn't no hero. I was, like I said, God put me there for a purpose. And